Are we live? Good afternoon from Stepford. We've got a fabulous cooking show for you today. I was just catching up on a little bit of correspondence. So what we'll do is we'll go through to the kitchen and we'll, oh, it's gonna, you're gonna love this one because everybody was asking questions. Before we go any further, come in the living room first. The living room's the next day back in the drawing room. Before we go any further, please, if you've not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please subscribe to it straight away. The link is on my Facebook page. Click the link, then go on to it and click subscribe. And then you'll see the other videos that are not available through Facebook. Okay, so come on, we'll go through to the kitchen. <clears throat> Let's see who's there. Oh, I'm caught. So, have we got anybody on yet? There's quite a few people. Is there? So, right, so I must, I've got loads of questions, uh, messages from people asking who does all my uh, gorgeous little uh, pinnies. And it's my friend Pearl. Um, she lives in Sheffield. And Pearl makes all these for me and sends them to me. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I absolutely love them. So, that's the coffee maker you can hear. <laughs> Mary Lowe said hello. I've put fresh coffee. Hello, Mary. You Sue right, said darling? hi. Who said hi? Sue. Sue. Hello, Sue. You are our sweetheart. Right, what we're going to do is today, I have masses and masses of questions um, about do I ever use things like cake mixes. Then I've got things asking me um, about chocolate cake and blah, 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 blah. And we've got Halloween questions last week. I know we're a little bit early for Halloween, but I thought we'd like to be ahead of the game because I'll do something obviously a little bit different as we get nearer to Halloween. So we're going to make cupcakes today and it's going to be an actual hack. We're going to use a cake mix. Francine's so, looking forward to watching it. Is she? I am Fran. Our Francine. Yeah. That's my cousin. Hello, sweetheart. Right. I can't. I've had to take the name off because on Even uh, though you can YouTube, still see it. Can you? Well, it's still taped off because on YouTube, I'm not allowed to advertise a product unless I'm being paid by the product. Mm -hmm. So you can actually work out whose brand it is. Don't use um, like store-bought at store's own cake mixes for this because they're not good enough. They really aren't good enough. Everybody has a real downer on cake mixes. And it's not fake baking. At the end of the day, all that's in this pack is the flour and the raisin agents and flavourings have been added already. You're going to add everything else. But we're not going to use it as it tells you on the back of the packet. So as I said, these ones are by the famous lady. But I don't buy these in stores in the UK because I disagree with the fact of the weight, the size. I also disagree with it's twice the price. So I buy them online directly from America. That's why the box is slightly narrower and it's worded slightly different. So if you want to buy them online, they're all on uh, Amazon, um, they're on um, eBay. So you can buy them all from there. I buy them through eBay. Um, and if you want the link, I'll give you the link if you, if you message me on Facebook. So this is what we're going to use as the start of it. So I'm going to just take it out of the box first. Miss Congeniality's watching. Is she? All the way from the States. Hello, my darling. We're over in June, so I'll be able to come and see you, Miss Congeniality. So that's my friend Sky. She's just won Miss Congeniality in a beauty pageant. So don't forget today, um, we go, oh, before we start what we're going to cook, I'm going to show you the, the, um, the equipment that you're going to need. So I did list it, you're going to need um, a tray, obviously, a, um, a cupcake tray or a muffin tray with muffin cups. I don't like the little ones, I think they crack it and there's not enough in them. And let's face it, the, the cake is only um, a, a conveyance to put loads and loads of frosting on, isn't it? So you're going to need that with your cake like this. You're going to need a curling rack, you're going to need an ice cream scoop. Yeah, all these things you can get on eBay. Don't moan at me saying, I've not got that equipment, it costs too much, Terry. It doesn't. Or go to go to tax shops or thrift stores that, you know, get there for nothing. Need a few spatulas. Um, little word about these. I like these ones that bend. Um, I bought these in, I think they were from Bed Bath & Beyond when I lived in the States. They're 30 years old. This one is a hard plastic one. I'm not a lover because it doesn't bend around your bowl. Okay? Told you a million times to invest, you need a set of measuring cups. It's, I, I got a message last week, I, I get confused with the measuring cup. Is it a tea cup? Is it a big mug? No, these are measuring cups. It comes in a cup, a quarter cup, a half cup, an eighth cup. 
you need a set of measuring cups. Two, three pounds, four dollars, whatever, online is cheap. Set of measuring spoons, we went through that in the first one, not teaspoons that you, you, you mix your coffee with, the coffee spoon and the teaspoon, totally different sizes. If you have those, you're spot on. You need a piping bag with a 10 gauge star nozzle in it, okay? I'm going to use my big Kenwood today because I adore it and I refuse, as you know, to have modern equipment. The other thing I'm going to say to you is as well, prep. If you're going to cook or you're going to bake, don't start thinking, oh, I'll make that and run around the house and you've got the flour in the mixer and you go into the, the closet for this and you're nipping into the pantry for that. Get everything out and prep it all before, you know, you go any further. We don't need that. Uh, we need that. I mixed up those myself. And we don't need that. But we need this because it's the magic ingredient. So, I'll just pop the ogles on. Right, now it says on the back of the box, it says to add one cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil and three eggs. We ain't going to do that. That's what makes the difference, okay? So, put this open. Bang. You can't mix it in the box. Go in the trash. Right, now where it would say your... I forgot I should have kept that up there. Where it says to add your cup of water, don't. Don't use the water. Cup of milk, okay? That's your first change to what's written on the box. And cup of milk. You add your three eggs. Yeah. Let's just move that out of the way. Because I'll end up knocking it over. And this is where you change. Craig Wilde said, Hi Terry, piss poor prep leads to piss poor pastry. It certainly does, Craig, it, and you should know that. When I was on QVC, we had to have everything prepped. Right. Rianne said, full fat milk. Yeah, full fat milk. Um, if you want, there's no point cutting the calories. It's, it's a pointless exercise. What you're going to add is mayonnaise, okay? And you want a cup of mayonnaise. Measure your mayonnaise out to a cup, okay? Mayonnaise in. Let's just clear the decks as we're going along so I don't get in a mess. Now, before we mix, somebody asked me what my uh, sort of um, go to cabinet is. The things I have in my baking cabinet always are like corn syrup, Cairo syrup, any brand you want, like corn syrup. Again, hard to get in the UK, buy online. Uh, British golden syrup, um, molasses, not uh, black treacle. Black treacle is a totally different thing. Black treacle comes in a can like that. Molasses comes in a jar. Again, I buy online because I find it very hard to get in the UK. Everything else, as you can see, it's all things. We're going to need cocoa for this because we're going to turn the cake mix into a chocolate cake. Use a good cocoa powder. Don't use um, a really cheap one. And certainly not drinking chocolate. Somebody said to me, can I put drinking chocolate? No, it's a completely different thing. And you want two and a half, good half, of cocoa powder. Yeah. Two and a half what? Tablespoons, sorry. Two and a half tablespoons. <coughs> Your oven should be at 175 fan. Okay. So that's going to be at 175, 175 to 180 fan. Yeah. If, again, I don't quite know what the, the, the changeover is if you've not got a fan oven. So, now we get the noise. So, last week I was told, don't speak over the mixer, but I can't just stand there doing nothing. So, low speed. Don't, if you've not got an electric mixer, or you've got a little hand mixer, you could do it with a little hand mixer, just as well. It, it's not gonna, you know, I'm just lucky because I've got loads of mixers. So, I have the speed. Don't overbeat. You overbeat. 
then you're going to need to scrape your bowl down halfway because you get quite a lot that sticks. There you go, David's showing you. And then just make sure that is. Like a batter. Have you got that? Yeah, it'll be a smooth batter. I'll take that a minute. Now, the cake mix, what I forgot to say at the very beginning of that, which I don't usually make mistakes, as you know, is I'm pretty perfect, is the cake mix I use, don't use a heavy flavoured one if you're going to make it into um, a chocolate cake or anything. That was a vanilla, it was just cold vanilla, it was a yellow cake mix. You can leave the chocolate out and use the cake mix as is if it was a carrot cake or it was. Uh, a strawberry cake or whatever the flavours are in it. Leave the chocolate out. Don't add chocolate obviously to that. But still follow the mayonnaise and the milk, not the water. This is where your... Lisa Lee. Hi Lise. It's Lisa's birthday. Hello my darling. She wants to know when's the vodka going in it. There is no vodka in this sweet It's daytime. And this is where you, your ice cream scoop comes in. Because if you use an ice cream scoop, it means every single cupcake should be the same size. You see? And I would say you're going to get the 12 from this. Sometimes, I don't know why, when I do this, and obviously I did it the other day because I've had to prep some earlier. Um, sometimes you get 12, sometimes you get 11. Then sometimes, which I think on this one, you're going to get more than the 12. Well, it's more for work tomorrow then. Yeah, these will end up at the airport. So we'll just get that out of the way. <coughs> so there is your thing. Give it a bang, a couple of bangs like that. That takes, if you've got any air bubbles inside it or air bubbles underneath, also levels them out. Don't, when they bake, get all wet up if it muffin tops and it comes over the top and it's slightly uneven. It doesn't matter. This is supposed to be home baking. You know, it's not the, the French Egon Romy school of cooking. Everything's got to be perfect. In the oven, fan, it doesn't matter what shelf you use, obviously. If it's an ordinary oven, middle of the oven. So they go in there now for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you toothpick them, put a toothpick in, pull it out, if it comes out clean, they're cooked. I can tell by just tapping on the top of it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous frosting to go on the top. And it's one of my favourite frosting. So, we're going to need, as in all good cook shows, I have extra, so we don't have to wash our um, I need to put the guard on because I end up with infection of sugar absolutely everywhere. Just turn me back to you for one second while I lock that in. For some reason it never wants to stay on. Right, we're going to make um, cream cheese frosting. So these are what you're going to need for this. Perfection of sugar, icing sugar, um, butter, and cream cheese. This is uh, eight ounces of cream cheese, three ounces of butter, all at room temperature. Don't have them freezing cold out of the fridge. If it's the first time you've done it, do it in smaller batches, okay? It, it, you, you get in a right mess, and then you end up wanting to sling it up the cart road because you're covered in it, so don't. Do it in small batches. So what you want to do is, your cream cheese goes in, and your butter goes in. And then that has to be just whipped together. No, you can put it in. Give it a little whip so it just it really joins the two together, not so that the little bits of butter. Right, now this is 
is going to take, as you can see, I've got other sets of um, cup measures. These are black plastic ones. It takes three to eight cups of confectioner's sugar. Okay, because you need to be able to pipe this. If it's too thin, it will it won't pipe. It just, just runs and it's hideous. So I'm going to start with three and a half. Cup. And the only reason I put this on is if you've not got a guard for your mixer, the, the good cheat on that is to get a tea towel, preferably a clean one, and light over the mixer like that as you turn the mixer on, because otherwise you get a huge cloud of, of sugar and it's on everything in the kitchen, and then you've got to start cleaning. Put the beach on slow. Start with it quite slow. You want to combine it and then turn. And so David will come in and show you now what you've sort of got at this point. Scrape your bowl down because you end up with a lot of sugar around the edge. Now this is the fun bit we're going to use. You need to come back to me, darling. Um, we're going to use flavourings now because obviously that that's very nice as it is. It, it's great. Needs whipping a little bit more, so it's a bit lighter. We're going to flavour it with orange because I think that goes nice with chocolate. Um, can, Kyle's asking a question. Yeah, what's the question, Kyle? So he wants to know what is the difference between that sugar and normal sugar? Right, this is powdered. This is like icing sugar, it's powdered. You can't use ordinary sugar. Ordinary sugar is granulated. Um, turn the camera around and I will get the sugar bowl and I'll pinch the sugar and that's granulated. You can't use that. You use that inside a cake, not to make um, a frosting. You can't make frosting with it. And then we're going to die because they're going Halloweeny, um, and it's got an orange flavour. You flavour anything you want, by the way. Um, if you want to make chocolate frosting, you know, miss that out and miss this out. Just add another tablespoon of cocoa powder, and that will turn to chocolate frosting. Okay. We're going to dye it orange, so that it's nice and Halloweeny. That I would say is about. I eyeball it, so it's around. Mm. Tablespoon. Say, yeah, quite a little bit less than a tablespoon, but you can tell. You can add more as you want. that a bit of scrape because you've still got as you can see a little bit of pull now what I like to do is is not do the next mix I actually like to leave the darker bit I could take this out of the mixer to show you I like to leave the little darker bits that are there so they vein through the frosting okay now that needs to go into the fridge and um, cover it with a little bit of surround wrap um, put it in the fridge for about, no, not, not too long because you don't want it to go hard and it will firm up in the fridge a lot, it really will. So just keep an eye on it. In the fridge I'd say for about 10, 15 minutes. Now, I just want to get that off there before it dots all over my counter. But in true Blue Peter style, in the pantry I have some that I made earlier. Your frosting and there's your cupcake. See? So we're gonna we're gonna pipe them and make them look a bit camp, okay? So you need your pastry bag and my little tip I taught you once before, daddy's glass, 50 odd years old, big glass, pint glass from a bar, anything big as a vase, you know, big vase, fine. And Kyle, we'll Kyle said it matches your nails. It does actually. Oh look, Kyle! I didn't think of that. How fabulous! Yeah, look. How fabulous! Now, I'd like to say who the brand of colour is, but I'm not allowed to do that now. If it was just saying on Facebook, I could, but I can't because it's going onto YouTube. 
Yes, Jill. Phil. Jill what? What's S Jill? Surround wrap equals cling film. Yes, Question surround mark. wrap is cling film in the UK. I get very mixed up. My friend Paul um, tells me off because I use Americanisms all the time. It's a hard thing not to do because I lived in the States for so long that it's, you know, and I've got a lot of American followers, so it's hard. That's why a lot of my, my recipes are in cups because, you know. Pure Allen. What, love? Pure Allen. It is pure Allen. It is pure Allen. Right, so you've got your, let's just get that out of the way. <coughs> clear the decks a little bit. I like to start from the outside edge and come round and up. Outside edge, round and up. There you go. And that is a perfect cupcake. And remember, the cake is only a vehicle to carry the toppings. It's, it's the frosting that you want. The frosting is just unctuous and gorgeous. I'm just trying to think if I actually got in stock some. I usually like little chocolatey things or I'm trying to have a look what I've got. Because you can also go as OTT as you want. I love these. Love these little tubs that you can buy with all the different things in. And there you go. So what we'll do is to show you how it looks. Depends on how you want to eat. So I'll come back to you with, we'll get one, take a plate and we'll grab a knife. So if you want to eat it, bang, oh, great, because I like it like that. But they're nice and then you can see, I want to show you the consistency of the cake. Because when they come out, they're going to be far too hot to handle. So when you cut through, there you go, your cake is a lot moister see, than it would be if you just used um, the stuff that it's telling you on the back of the packet. Um, I think that's just their thing, but this hack was taught to me by a fabulous, fabulous, very famous cook um, called Paula Dean. Um, she lived in America and she was huge, famous on television, and she's a dear friend of mine, and Paula uses, you know, she's a big television, your own show, TV, the whole thing. Paula uses cake mixes all the time, but hacks them up. So over a period of time, I'll show you different things. Don't be frightened of it. Don't sit there and think, oh, I'm cheating because I'm using a cake. You still have to mix it all together, make it, make the mess, make the thing, put them in the oven, keep an eye on them when they're in the oven. You know, you can't just sling it in the oven and walk away and decide, oh, I'll go and clean the front step or something. It just doesn't work. Uh, um, Philip said, don't forget those in the oven. I know they're in the oven. Which Philip? Um, Hardman. Hardman. Oh, hello, Philip, darling. We'll have a little check what they like, actually. And if you come and show David, they're sort of coming to temp. Coming to temp now. They're not quite done because it's leaving a, a little fingerprint in the top. But we'll wait for those uh, while you ask some questions. Then we'll go and have we'll go and have some coffee, and you can chat along with me, find out everything else. It was a really quick one today, wasn't it? Really, I should have thought of doing. I should have done two things at the same time. Um, again, the frosting. If you're going to do it and you want it to be strawberry flavoured, add some a little bit of pink food colouring and some strawberry flavouring, and then you've got strawberry, and that's nice on just a vanilla um, cake. So with the cake mix, you would miss the chocolate out, but still use the mayonnaise and the milk, not the water and not the oil, um, and you'll get that much nicer thing. So you can basically make them into anything you want. That also works as a, a layered cake. You can, you know, do two sandwich tins, and bake it into two halves, which you can then sandwich together with the frosting, put the frosting all over the whole thing. When we've done a few programmes and you're sort of heavy with me on what we're doing, I'll then do a layered cake and teach you how to do that as well, because that is so easy and people are frightened of it. Somebody asking a question, I can tell by your face now. 
No. Ma um, yeah, sorry. Um, Jim Nixon. Yeah. It's, can you make sausage rolls one day for him, please? Yeah, sausage rolls are so easy, Jim. I did read your message that you put mm -hmm. on um, Facebook before. Um, I do use um, store-bought. It's the only store-bought thing I do use, puff pastry, uh, flaky pastry, puff pastry dough in the States. I never, ever make it myself. Ever. The reason they've gone wet and sticky is because your oven isn't hot enough. That's the problem. When you do it, go back to my first video of when we did uh, the scones. Make sure you've lined your tray. Don't bake directly onto the tray. Line the tray with um, a baking parchment. Use the ready rolled pastry as well. Easier. Sausage meat through the front. Flop over. Seal. Chop up. In the oven. Bingo. You're done. Okay? It's not rocket science. It's, it, if they've come out wet and greasy and soggy, it's because the oven isn't hot enough and that's why the, the, the grease of the pastry and the sausage is combining and making them wet, okay? Um, what was the other one somebody asked me and I forgot what that was and I did say I'd mention it and it's completely out of my head. So let's have a little check on those. Um, I was going to show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it with a, a thing to prove a point because everybody says, oh, you're not showing us that. So just think that they're done or they're not into the middle that's covered you see so that means they're not actually cooked yet when they do come out and wipe that don't put it back in because you won't know whether that's off the first lot or the second lot and um, when they do come out they're going to go onto a wire rack not left in the, the tin if you leave them in the tin they will start to go wet and soft um, and now nah. So you need them to cool. They've got to be stone cold before you ice them. Don't put the frosting on while they're still warm because it will run off. If your room is too warm as well, um, I mean I've got um, a joint for me in the top oven so the kitchen is very very warm today that's why I kept those in the, the pantry which is freezing cold in there. Um, don't have them in a really hot hot room, okay? So we'll pour some coffee while we're waiting. So that's only going to take a... Mark Sherwood wants to know, can you show us how to make cornbread and let us know where you can get the ingredients from? Yep. All ingredients, um, cornmeal, I'll show you. It's cornmeal. It's not polenta or polenta, however you pronounce that. I can never say it right. This is yellow cornmeal. Buy offline. You've got to buy it offline. You can't, they want that it was there was a supermarket begins with an S. They used to do it, but they don't do it anymore. Um, so I buy online, and I like the Quaker one to be honest with you. I mean, just to prove a point that I do use it a lot, I have it in huge tubs. Okay, um, that is the one I use, and I have to buy it online. And it's on. I think I bought that one on Amazon. Not too sure. It's either Amazon or eBay. One of the two. But I always buy stuff like that online. And yeah, sure, I'll make cornbread for you. I'll do that. Um, I could have done cornbread today, actually, because that was such a quick thing to show you. See, people think, oh, it's going to take me ever. It's going to take me all day to make a batch of cupcake. No, it doesn't. It takes five minutes. Um, so, yeah, we'll do cornbread, Mark, because um, we eat cornbread a lot. And then... I can show you little generic things from that, like how to make cornbread stuffing and things like that for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. Because I hate that crap that they have in the UK. It's all. You said thank you. You're welcome, darling. Anytime. So we're just going to check these. If these are done. Can you just recap for Rianne? How much butter and cheese in the frosting? Right. How much butter and cheese in the frosting? It was in the cream cheese. Was eight ounces of cream cheese. Push it to a little bit more, like nine. Yeah, which is virtually a full tray of, you know, the one begins with Epi. Um, get that one. Um, and don't use low fat. Don't use reduced fat cheese. That, I am, why am I pointing at you all with this? Don't use reduced fat. Don't use reduced fat anything because it's not good for you. What, when they've taken the fat out, they've replaced it with some horrible chemical or crap that you shouldn't be eating. Use full fat. Just eat less of it. That's the answer. Um, so it was eight ounces of cream cheese and it was three ounces of butter and it was proper butter at room temperature and then with your confectioner's sugar it was three, I got away with three and a half, 
depends. Sometimes you have to put more in. Again, it's the heat of the room and you want it to be stiff enough to pipe. If it peaks, you saw how thick it was when it came out the mixer. It's sort of, you know, if it's doing this and making a, a little peak. Mm, yum. Oh God, that's gorgeous. That's your dinner eaten. <laughs> yeah, um, that's how you want it, okay? So we'll just have another little view and we are ready to come out. So that will come out clear. See, absolutely nothing on it. There you go. And then take them out. I've got asbestos fingers. I'm not telling you to grab hold of metal things that have come straight from the oven. I've also got ridiculously long fingernails, which I tend to pick everything up with. So don't start grabbing red hot pans. And that, to prove a point, is what I said about the shape. And if you don't want it to be that shape, lock the top off. You know, if you want it to look obviously perfect, it I'll just cover it with more frosting. It's fine. Jamie John's asking a question. Yeah, go on, Jamie, darling. Can he use vegan mayonnaise? Yes. Would it work? Is asking yes, on behalf of a friend. Vegan mayonnaise will work perfectly fine because vegan mayonnaise is is very very heavy fat anyway, so it's great. That's fabulous. We're going to go through to the drawing room and have some coffee, and you can ask me other things. So come on. Oh, oh, it's been a long day. A nice blazing fire going as well. How oh, lovely. So is the fire dying down? Is the fire dying down? It was blazing. Oh, it was blazing. Okay, so yeah, you can. The other thing I was going to say is, um, I've got a couple of friends that are vegetarian, uh, not vegetarian, but are diabetic. Um, you can't use that cake mix if you're diabetic. But you can buy online, that brand do diabetic ones. They also do uh, gluten-free ones by that brand. So you can use that as well because you're not adding any gluten with the other things I've, I've told you to put in it. Okay, so that's why I do hope. I hope I get, I might get, you know, backed by her and telling people what to do with it because it's fabulous. So have you got any more questions? Is the fire real? Phil, Phil Parker wants to know. Yes, of it course is real. it's real, Phil. It is real, darling. I don't We have know. nothing fake, love. It's the only thing fake in here and I'm not going to say what it is. Yeah, of course it's real. I shall show you. Everybody has that. Everybody thinks it's one of those electric things. See, you have to have these thermi mix because it's that hot. If I can get my fucking finger in it, and I'm not allowed to swear during the day. So, yeah, it's real. And I'll bung. Look at that. Put a couple of pieces of coal. There we go. Just to prove a point. Now I'm covered in soot. So I'll come back this way while I just wipe my hand. So, is that Phil Parker asking that? Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling that it was <clears throat> Liam. Liam. Which Liam? Our Liam. Yeah. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh, is it? Oh, it's Thanksgiving, of course, in Canada today. Happy Thanksgiving, Liam. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, darling. You must post some pictures of what trash it is you're eating. <laughs> and then when we do the proper Thanksgiving, the Canadians, the only thing they ever want to be is American. So when we do the proper Thanksgiving, Liam will be here. We might, we might film Thanksgiving this year, actually. We might do a live feed from Thanksgiving. So that'd be quite nice. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yes, Jim, it is. What, what did Jim want to know? I don't want to swear. Is it? Is the fire a to clean? Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's not. I'm saying yes, it is. It's not. It's uh, people. Oh, I couldn't have a real fire because it makes so much mess. No, it doesn't. You just let it drop through into the ashtray in the bottom. The ash pan gets emptied, and I hoover it. I have another hoover, an old one that I don't use on the rest of the house, obviously. And then I hoover that. I hoover the fire out. So no, not really. The only, the biggest thing I find difficult with it is the black. Is because I have to black lead it because I'm obsessive, as everybody knows, and I want it to look black all the time and not sort of burn it. But no, not hard. So, um, so we'll recap on the cake. Use a good cake mix. Don't use um, a store's own brand. That is what I'm trying to tell you. I can't say the names of the stores any store, I do 
you know, I'm a big user of store brand products. I don't believe that there is any difference between a can of beans from one, from a, a huge expensive company and a can of beans that's from, you know, say a, um, the lower brand supermarkets. I don't, I use all the lower brand stuff. But on a cake mix, if you're going to do that, it doesn't work. It will work, but you don't get quite the same um, moisture and the same consistency, if you understand what I mean. And also, it's a paltry and poverty-stricken amount in those little crappy boxes that you're paying a couple of... You know, no point. No point. If you're going to do it, do it properly. Um, and yes, you can use, you know, alternatives on the mayonnaise if you're vegetarian and things like that. Um, it does make fabulous other stuff. So as the time goes on, we will make other things with it as well. Um, don't forget, if you're not on the YouTube channel, I keep saying this, please click the link and please join the YouTube channel because eventually these feeds won't be on Facebook anymore. We're only doing one season with them on Facebook and then they will go directly to YouTube. So you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which the link is on my page and go onto it and then click subscribe and you will see the, you know, other videos because other videos will soon be available on there. We're going to do things that's coming up to Christmas. We're going to do table settings. I'm going to teach you how to make because people are saying things like, oh, you have lovely things. Um, linen napkins yeah I've got hundreds of them but I've collected these things for years and years and years there are little ways round never lay a table with paper napkin it's hideous my friend Paul he thinks it's fine dining if she folds kitchen paper in a glass nah vile use linen napkin so I'm going to teach you I'm going to say what it is yet but I will show you a way to lay a table that is fabulous and it's cost you nothing with what you've already got okay um and use that but those videos will only be available to the YouTube channel this is why I want you to join the YouTube channel and then you get to see all the other stuff and of course coming up to Christmas we're going to show you how to do a garland for the fireplace we're going to show you how to dress a staircase how to do a wreath for your front door we're going to do all those other housey things that you see photographs of that a lot of people doubting Thomas's don't believe that I do myself and think I have a company come in and do it all yes many years ago I did used to have companies come in and do it uh, but now I just I saw what they were doing and I thought, you know, screw it. I'll learn to do it myself. And that's what you need to do. And it's so easy and so enjoyable to, to run a house and do nice things and do flowers. And it's, it's just a wonderful thing because your house is, is your sanctuary. It's where you live and it's where you spend 90% of your time. So I like it to be perfect and I like to be surrounded by gorgeous things. That's why I married David. Sue Davis. Is excited for table settings. Sue so Davis is excited for table settings. Well, we'll do that video. Should be available for table settings probably um, midweek coming up. I'm going to do the table setting one sort of this week, and it will be on um, YouTube. Okay. So it'll be directly on YouTube. Okay. okay. So as soon as it is, I'll let you know via Facebook. But if you click the YouTube channel, as soon as something new goes on that, it, it will come up. Okay. No more questions from anybody. I'm sat here rambling away like an old fishwife. Yeah, so is that it? Are we done? No one's asking questions. Nobody's asking questions. Oh. We had a lovely night, by the way, last night. I've got to thank James and everybody. It was so beautiful. The hotel was stunning. The food was divine. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, so we really did have a good time. And then, of course, we went to the Viaduct Show Bar. Um, afterwards, which is where I am next Sunday, and uh, the staff at the Viaduct Show Bar was so gracious to me. They were so nice, um, loading Nana with vodkas. It's a wonder I actually look like this today because this is last night's eyeshadow. I really slept in it and couldn't be bothered taking it off, so um, I left there a little bit worse for wear, shall we say? Uh, but lovely, lovely people and heaving, absolutely heaving. And you can tell the falls coming because I've got my fall crockery out now, which I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. It's nice and wear. And I collect that as well. So. And I think that's about it for today. So thanks for joining us. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Any other questions, I'll try and get to you um, on the page in a little while. Um, I have I need to sort of tidy the kitchen up and put everything away. Um, and I'll frost the other cakes because we'll probably have those for dessert today. So you'll see them on the dinner table later on today. Um, and... If you've got something particular next week, what we're going to do next week is, is the other one that everybody was asking about, we're going to do pastry next week. So we're going to make a, a fruit pie as a dessert. And then as we're doing the pastry, I can talk you through the different sorts of pastry, how you can modify the recipe I'm going to use. It's so, so simple. 
everybody's fried to making pastry and it's not a problem whatsoever especially if you've got a food processor it's amazing yeah that coffee's absolutely divine joanne wig want to know where dylan is dylan's in the conservatory with mummy so he's too loud. If I have him in here, he's, he's firing through the house and I don't really like the dogs in the drawing room in the day anyway because I can't keep an eye on them because we never ever come in. I'm only in here now because we're filming this. We live through the back of the house. This just doesn't get used. Um, only after like six o'clock when I lift the curfew. Dean said your hair looks nice. Which Dean? McGrath. Oh, thank you, darling. See, Dean's one of my friends that's diabetic and Dean is clever the way he does things as well. He's quite a good cook. So um, that's why I said you can buy diabetic cake mixes. I'll put links to them. If, if people are really bothered, ask the link. What has he said? He said something. No, Phil Parker's questions, Nick. He said your cameraman's fit. Yeah. Phil Parker, stop eyeing up my husband, please. <laughs> I know my camera. You want, if you could actually see what he's wearing. <laughs> if you could at, see me now. <laughs> at this precise second in time. Yes. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, pretty fit. Did well for myself, didn't I, really? You did, you're right. I did. You don't have to agree with me. That's not, you know, self-praise is no praise at all. There's only me that does self-praise about myself because I'm pretty perfect. They only invented one other man that was perfect than me and they put three nails in him. Joanne um, Wiggs said you need to get your mum on there. I on need here. to get my mum. Well, she's, she's still recovering from her leg. Uh, but mummy will come on one. I asked her this morning and she said when she's better, um, yeah, she's going to come on one. And, and um, We should have had her on the pastry one because it was mummy that taught me how to make pastry when I was like so big and I used to use all the offcuts you know like you do as a kid she'd have her rolling pin I'd stand on a little stool pinny tied under my arms like you know like I do with Caleb now because he's little and stands up and I used to roll the bits of pastry out and used to bake it into shapes and things like that so it was mummy that taught me how to do pastry Tom's got a um, Tom Bradshaw mm -hmm. why cake mix from a packet you don't have to do, darling. Um, I don't use cake mixes all the time. It was This was a question I was asked last week and the week before that can people use a cake mix? And it was just to prove a point that you can use a cake mix. 90% of the time, no, I don't use them. Um, if I'm going to make a sponge from scratch, I do an all-in-one sponge, uh, which if you go to my recipe folder on the Facebook, channel, uh, Facebook page, um, it's Nana's recipe box and it's in there and I use an all-in-one sponge which is eight ounces of flour, eight, I know it off the top of my head, eight ounces of flour, eight ounces of butter, eight ounces of sugar, three eggs, two teaspoons of baking powder, whip it all together, none of this creaming butter into sugar. It's a Delia Smith recipe, adore it, I use that constantly, absolutely all the time. Never use anything else. I, I, I never do Victoria sponge where you're beating sugar. Into, it's just a waste of space. There's no point whatsoever. So, any other questions on there? No. None that you can reel back to? No. No. Aaron Laws, are you yeah. both in Spain still? Does he live under a rock? Do you live under a rock, Aaron? <laughs> David wants to know. No, we've lived back in the UK now for six years, sweetheart. Eight years. Uh, oh, eight years. My God, time flies. Eight years we've lived back in the UK now, um, and we sold the house in Spain last year. I still go back. We go back. We didn't this summer because we had too much on, and Mummy had her operation and things, so we had to cancel a lot of stuff. Uh, but next summer I will be back in Spain for um, a few shows and things. Marie Baxter said links for diabetic, diabetes, diabetic, sorry, would be superb. Yeah, thank, um, thank you, she said. Marie, if you're going to buy a cake mix for a diabetic, which I always advise if you're diabetic, use a cake mix. Don't make it from scratch. <coughs> because even if you're using the sugar substitute, which is a granulated one, it doesn't make a light enough cake. So if you go online, go on to um, YouTube, and uh, YouTube, I'm obsessed with that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you go onto eBay or Amazon and just put in the make of that, cake mix that I've used, uh, which is a woman's name, begins with a B, second name, first name. Mm -hmm. um, go onto there, put the name and put diabetic cake mix after it and, and they will throw up. Okay, they are on there. And they're also, there's a, more, I would say there's more of them on eBay than there is on, because everything's having second hand on eBay. It's not. Um, there's loads of, loads and loads and loads of them, darling. If you're really having difficulty, message me um, and I'll find a link and I'll send you the link. To, to the good ones okay right I think it's time to sort of wrap that up because uh, my pork in the oven is going to need a little bit of basting if you pardon the pun 
That sounded absolutely filthy, didn't it? Then the pork in the oven. So I'm gonna have to go and finish the dinner off, um, and we'll probably see you with a few photographs and things later on. Have a wonderful Sunday. Um, we've enjoyed doing it today. Hopefully, we got a lot more viewers. The reason we moved it to Sunday was because people complaining they were at work. Um, and the people that were complaining at work that they couldn't watch and they were having to watch late don't seem to be watching because otherwise you would have said, hello, I'm here. Yes, mm -hmm. Nicola. Mm -hmm. You. Mm -hmm. So I will see you next week mm -hmm. with something completely different. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for all the other things. And for me, Terry, have a lovely Sunday. Bye.